Thousand to a Dark sun night and shining moon, east and south and west and north, earth and jewel or witch's moon, there come I to call thee forth, earth and water, air and fire, bond and tentacle and soul, what you owe to my desire, half a year through my word, cause and sense of bold and night, power thou the witch's blade, wait and all ye unto life, come ye as the charm of maid. Wind of heaven, wind of hell, all of hunger all the night, blend of power and tool of spell, work my will by magic light, by all the power of land and sea, by all the might of moon and sun, of idle will, the murdered beast, of idle soul, the shower of the sun. People always ask me, why do you want to become a witch? Why should you want to become a witch? What you what you get out of it? When I tell you, tell them you get peace and contentment and joy, they can't understand that. They want to know, don't you don't you make money out of it? Well, I say you don't. Well, you must you must make money. You can make you make spells and then to get yourself money. I say you don't. Well, you're always making spells uh, to win football pools. I say you never. We should never do that. Why not? He said. It was, it's simply, we're taught, we mustn't do it. And we're, we're taught, it's the power that comes from the gods. It's, no, it mustn't be with, with you. If, if, you can misuse your power otherwise, but you lose it if you do. So it, it, it's just a uh, uh, plain as that. No, is it? Of course, it isn't a thing that belongs to everybody. Uh, this, uh, this, this. Some people have a a sense of the old things, a sense of desire for peace, a sense of wonder, and a sense of companionship and good fellowship. And that's what witchcraft gives you. Of course, it's, it's everything to, uh, to a man as it is. You know there's an old story of a man who was, was out, out with, a, with a wagon with his family, is searching for a place to settle down. And he came to a, to a town. He said, he came near a town, and outside there was a man sitting on a fence. And he told him, I'm searching for a new place to settle down. Uh, uh, what, uh, what, uh, what sort of people are they here? Are they nice people? Well, they treat us well. And the chef said, well, friend, I don't know. What's the, what sort of uh, like for the people, the, the, the place you just left? They're the most beastic scoundrels, blackguards, villains, uh, sex maniacs, thieves, liars, prostitutes, the worst kind of people in the world. The chap said, well, uh, friends, I reckon you'll find the same people in this town just the same. And not, uh, uh, a little time when not, a similar man came in, also searching for a house, to search, search for a place to settle in. And he asked the same man the same question, and was given the same, was, was asked, the same question in return. He said, well, there was awfully nice people, awfully kind people indeed. They were good old simple people, there was nothing grand about them. But they, they worked hard, of course. Some of them worked hard than others. Some liked a little bit of booze. But it was all good, 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 good fellowship and kindness. And the man said, strange, I reckon you'll find a type of people in this town just the same. Well, I think this class is much like that. People like does attract like, you know. And of course, there's always the, the idea of getting better than the Jones, or, or using some of the Joneses to pull, you, pull yourself up into a better place. Well, if you think of witchcraft to get you there, it won't. People have got the idea now that if you, if you get your children into a, into a good school, that it means that they'll get soft, well-paid jobs immediately, and they won't have to do any work. Well, that isn't true either. There's no doubt going to a good school does help some people. Most successful people never have any schooling at all. I wonder if you know the head of Dan, if he were 
he worked in the laboratory of the London County Council. <laughs> and he cleaned the floors and he worked all right. He got he got about I think about a couple of pounds a week. But one day the county council sent out a questionnaire and they found that, uh, that, that Dan couldn't read or write. So they sacked him at once. Well, he, he didn't want to start, so he got a job in a grocery shop. He carried goods and he served customers and he worked well and he got on well with the boss and eventually married the boss's daughter. But he got some ideas about the grocery trade. He, was, he ran the wife, the wife ran the one shop, he ran the, ran the branch. For a couple of years he had two other branches going. A couple of years afterwards he had seven or eight branches. Uh, one of his sons was running one, but he had paid managers in the others. And then he had about 50 grocery stores going. But he came up at the one great worry was the question of signing checks. Of course, he was he had to talk to because he had to carry every character about him for everything. So he went to the bank manager and talked to him and said, Look, sir, can we fix any way that, that I can sign che checks for, with a sign or with or some mark or something? And the bank manager would, would arrange anything you like, but uh, we're. We know your, your account stands at about £50,000 an hour, and it's going to be dangerous you know, if you can't make a signature. The chap said, they tell me some prints are, are quite... Are, are pretty good, the police will accept them, yes. Can't I sign you with some prints? So what the man says, hey, if somebody writes the body of a check, would you understand the figures a little bit? Oh, well, I can read the figures for us, that's right. So that's strange. Well, well that's, that's perfectly easy. She was like, you know, it is a wonderful thing, Mr. Jones. It's a wonderful thing that you've raised this, this business. You're not a little man. Wonderful thing what you've done. Well, of course you should have done if you, if you hadn't been able to read and write. What I have done? I've been working the floor in that laboratory down there. <laughs> 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 yes. Well... There is a uh, question I'd like to ask you about that, Gerald, about... Oh, well, yes. Well, stop the thing. Oh, 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 oh. It's, it's, right. it's, it's, it's a question yeah. of the good. Yes. 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 Oh, this is a question, Gerald. Yes. Um, as a person that's interested yes. in witchcraft, yes. um, I'd like to know what your secret is to getting the devil to help Concentration 
fixing your mind on the thing, sitting there, you've got to get yourself into one of these yoga positions, immobilize yourself. When you forget your body, only concentrate on that one thought and work on that, work on that will and will and will and will. And of course they say it works. I don't know whether it does. I never did. tried it. It's too much like hard work to me. To me. But uh, of course it's a the thing is to try the, the, the form of magic that appeals to and, uh, and find out if it works. I think the yoga system is too very apt to, to lead to, to illusions. You do get, people get a great pleasure out of it because the, the, the concentration produces the effects of an opium dream. They, they have wonderful illusions and they enjoy themselves very greatly. If that's all you're working for, well, it's a cheap way of doing it. Of course, uh, a lot of my countrymen get uh, do the same with a couple of bottles of whiskey. Of course, they, sometimes I have a he headache the morning after. Uh, the only practice doesn't, doesn't give you a head, but it generally gives you a very, very, very sore leg and back, and sometimes you have to always have surgical operation to, before they can bend their arms, you know, which is rather unpleasant. Uh, I, wouldn't, uh, I, I, I wouldn't advise the Hindu uh, system to uh, the Europeans, but it's, it's, it's one, of, one of the possible ways. But the thing is, I mean, lots of people tell me if they will it, will it thing fiercely enough, it comes off. Well, it may be so. I, I don't know. I can't say I've, I've found there are lots of things I've wanted very, very hard all my life. A lot of money. <laughs> but, but I haven't got this and the magic is. The magic is. The money I make it for the work for. <laughs> and of course, that's the what witches are taught. There's no reason why a witch shouldn't have money, but you've got to work for it. And of course, of course, there are different types of work. I mean, there's one report I found that that you, I, I told him that you mustn't use the take money for a useful craft. You mustn't take payment for curing a sick person or doing any working magic for any, uh, uh, any other way. And he, he wrote, wrote a long screed in the paper that I claimed that I didn't take money for working magic, and yet uh, it is, I, I, I charged for admission to the museum. Uh, of course, I presume he thought that, that, that I should do some very hard job to get, to get a, enough money to pay for all the rates and taxes and electric electricity bills which are extraordinarily heavy, and all the cleaning, and all the guarding, and, and, and of course, the, the expense of, 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 of looking after the service and taking money from visitors, because most people will nip up without paying if they get the chance. Uh, I suppose they, they think it's perfectly, perfectly all right to diddle the witch if they can. Well, of course, that's the, that's the modern, modern idea. Uh, and every big plot of so wonderful things for these people to, to burn the trains to 250 million, uh, uh, 200, uh, uh, two and a half million pounds. Mind you, it, it, it does look as if the money was left there just for uh, the asking. Of course, <laughs> of course, but, uh, you see, there is this extraordinary English idiotic habit. Yeah, the idea that you must coddle the criminal in every way and make everything easier for him. You mustn't let the guards on that two, or two and a half billion pounds have a couple of shotguns. They must be at the mercy of a, of a mob of men with a arms iron bars who, who can beat them up or, do, or kill them if they resist in any way. To me, that's lunacy. About 30 years ago, in in China, a tremendous lot of English ships were seized by pirates. The pirates would come, uh, come aboard as ordinary deck passengers. And of course, as soon as they were well out to sea, they would uh, produce uh, 
knives and pistols. Uh, they they kill the, the captain and most of the officers. But uh, they keep one officer to navigate and the, the engine room. Gardner, and he's written several books on the subject. 
and in his cottage in the Isle of Man, and I'm going to ask him what it's all about. Dr. Gardner, that was the most extraordinary ceremony. A naked woman threatening a bound man with a knife. Surely this must be some pagan ceremony. Well, of course, it is a pagan ceremony. Well, the issues have always done that for thousands of years. Is it a religion, then? Well, it is a religion. It's a religion. The remnants of the old Viking Stone Age religion, at any rate, it's been here for a thousand years ago. And a religion means a god. Well, the god is the real god, the old human god, who controls the next world, among other things. And of course, looks after his people. And the goddess. And the goddess is one. The goddess is a goddess, yes. And she is the one who is most of the worst to now. Oh, so you know, she's a she character. You know, the love of her if this account for the nakedness of the high priestess in the ceremony we saw? Uh, uh, no, it is, uh, it's, she is, uh, we were told that the command of the gods always should be naked, the right, she must be naked in the presence of the gods, every woman in the circle must be naked. But I think the real to a woman who goes through this, who is working in magic, we do it by raising the power, we don't know what the power is. And the world began. I danced in the moon and the stars and the sun. And I came down from heaven and I danced on the earth. The clear bright light, I had my birth. Dance then, wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance, said he. And I'll lead you all wherever you may be. I'll lead you all in the dance, said he. I danced on the Sabbath and I cured the lame. The holy people said it was a shame. They whipped and they stripped and they left the fire. And they hung their souls on the cross to die. Down then, wherever you may be, I am the Lord of the dance, said he, and I'll lead you all wherever you may be, I'll lead you all in the dance, said he, I danced on a Friday when the sky was black, the couple danced around me, back to back, when they burned the bodies and they thought I'd gone, oh never mind the dance, but they still go on, dance then, wherever you may be, I am the Lord of the dance, said he, and I'll lead you all wherever you may be, I'll lead you all in the dance, said he, Dance on the flames, they leap on high. I dance in the fire, and I never, never die. I dance in the waves on the bright summer sea. I am the Lord of the land, said he. Dance, then, wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the land, said he. And I'll lead you all wherever you may be. I'll lead you all in the land, said he. My feet in the earth, I'm fed by the rain. I dance in the wind through the waving grain. When you cut me down, I feel no pain. The spring on the wall is the dance again. Dance then, whatever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance, then, and I'll lead you all wherever you may be. I'll lead you all in the dance, then. They cut me down, I leap up high. I am the light, you will never, never die. I live in you if you live in me. I am the Lord of the dance, then. Dance then, whatever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance, then, he. And I'll lead you all wherever you may be. Queen of Queens, Areda, Areda, come to us in all our dreams. Blessed Goddess from the above, grant us peace and grant us love. Lead thy children here below. Let us all thy secrets know. Perfect love and perfect trust. Bless would turn all into dust. Let the mill keep spinning round. The wheel of life where all are bound. Upwards, upwards, on and on. Till our souls with thee are one. Nearer, 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 come. Invoke this queen of queens. Areda, Areda. Come to us in all our dreams. Areda, Areda. Bless us, goddess, from above. 
Love and laughter to us bring. May we be reborn through thee. Our faith affirmed, our spirits free. We invoke thee, mighty God. By thy flaming upright rod. Lord of life and Lord of death. Spoken of with bated breath. Silent ballast thou do bear. Consort of the lady fair. Ruler of the honored gate. Be thou gracious of our fate. At our wedding in the spring. Love and laughter to us bring. May we be reborn through thee. Our faith affirm our spirit free. We invoke thee mighty God. By thy flaming upright rod. Lord of life and Lord of death. Spoken up with bated breath. Silent phallus thou do bear. Consort of the lady fair. Ruler of the horned gate. Be thou gracious of our fate. At our wedding in the spring, love and laughter to us bring. May we be reborn to thee. Our faith affirm our spirit free. Our faith affirm our spirit free.